Hello everybody and welcome again to another battle report. We've been away for a little while, uh, I've been married and I've also been on a honeymoon, got salmonella, got injured, a bunch of different things have happened but here we are. This is uh, the first of the Legion Imperialis box games battle reports we'll be doing. So today it's me, Drake Sater, or Matt, and uh, we've got Rob Walters with us as well, Icon74 online, and he's a fantastic painter. And we're going to be playing a game of Blood Angels versus Solar Auxilia. So we'll start off on my side of the table first. So here's my Blood Angels. They are going to be Nasir Amit's company. So I've actually got a few. Um, you might be able to see it. Gold Flesh Terror um, symbology there for, to represent his company. Made up. And that is my force for this game. It's only 1,500 points. And... I'm very happy with it so far. It's been an absolute joy to paint. And uh, I've done some nice little bits of modeling here and there, including putting some new other, some new ruined bits uh, on the bases. And yeah, from the new ruined set, which is coming out. You can see them dotted around here, there and everywhere. And here right at the front, obviously you've got the Legion Commander. And He's standing quite proud on a nice bit of rubble with his friend with a nice banner. Other than that, we've got some Legion Predators, Legion Sycharans, four Kratos, two Xiphon, Legio Defensor Reva, four, oh, eight Contemptors, four Terminators, and two big blobby squads of tactical marines slash plasma gunners slash uh, missile launchers. And that's that. And then to the solo auxilia. So what have you got, Rob? Right, I have, um, it's very similar to, to the space marines, but obviously got far more because they're just merely humans. <laughs> um, so we've got a command squad, which has got all the same models as the 28 mil, mil units. So it's got the little scope guy and a medic and a communicator guy and a standard bearer. Uh, then in support there is the rifle sections. And they've got two flamers each, haven't they? Yep, they've got the, the flamer support sections. Uh, then in support of them, there is the Velataris guys, they're the ones with the axes, so mm -hmm. they're close combat specialists. They're difficult to zoom in on, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> you can't really get good pictures. It's been really horrible to get yeah, decent pictures. Yeah, it's really difficult to get pictures of them, but yeah, I'm quite happy with how they came out. And then obviously my Ogrins, which are my favourite models in the entire game. Mm. Because they are just lumbering beasts. Yeah. Amazing. So I've got that section times two. Yeah. So that is basically this entire infantry section out there. Mm -hmm. Then we can move on to the to the tanks. Yeah. So we've got four Lima Rust tanks. Two vanquishers and two with normal standard battle cannons. You've got some really good shading on these. Now, how did you do them? What 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 did you use it's to actually a, get the, uh, the um, shadows and the, and the dirt and the recesses? It's an enamel wash. Wow. So it's literally just apply the enamel wash, leave it to dry, and then use a little cotton bud just to clean it off. Oh, and fantastic. it leaves such, it picks up all the detail. Yeah, great. It's really nice. And I've got two Malkadors. Again, one with a Vanquisher cannon, one with a standard battle cannon. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the two Bane Blades. Wow. Which are they were really easy to build as well and really nice. They're, still, they're quite hefty when it comes to the size of them as well. So yeah, they're massive. Can, I can pick one up if that's all right. Yeah, of but course, that's yeah. just, just huge. It's just all the detail on it. It's just oh, incredible. I know. And compare them to them little yeah. things, just <laughs> so great. And then obviously there's the the Sentinel, the heavy Sentinel Scout Walkers with the all the missile launchers on and the neutron lasers at the top. Mm -hmm. Are they all got the same weapon? Um, yeah, they're they're all they're all the same. Nice. They don't come with any other options. Ah. Then we've got two lightnings and we've got a warhound yeah. for from Legion Solaria support. Very cool for this battle force. Yeah, uh, I love your lightnings. Very pretty. So it's a very good looking army and uh, we're going to now have a nice little battle and see well, see what the game's like. <laughs> so the mission we've chosen for this game is going to be No Man's Land. Um, we are playing on a 4x4 rather than a 5x4 just due to the fact we've got such small forces at the moment. And uh, we've decided to use this one because it's it will encourage the action towards the centre of the battlefield where everyone's going to be shooting each other. I think that'd be pretty good for a video. 
And here is the battlefield for today. We have fair, various amounts of buildings all over the place, different sizes. And Rob's thrown a few uh, called Argus lighters here and there, just because he wanted to get them on the board. No, I did. <laughs> I wanted them on the board. <laughs> because they're lovely and they're cute. <laughs> That's it. So yeah, everything is going to be quite action packed. And we've got a 10 inch deployment zone, which is marked out to the front of there. So we'll be rolling for uh, and deploying shortly. Okay, so now we have to roll to see who's in charge, or who's in control of the battlefield. Right, time in yellow. Oh! oh. <laughs> and again. Yeah, let's see how many times we can do that. Oh, okay. Oh, so you've got control of the battlefield. So which side do you want? Um, I shall choose this side of the table. Okay then. And so this is how we've deployed. Nice spread all across the battlefield. Full hand on the wing. Contemptors over there. Predators, Sikarans, Reva, Malida, Kratos, and them. Okay, so before the game starts, we're going to be doing our forward deployments. Yep, so the Sentinels, the heavy Sentinels, they've got a special move. They can do a forward, forward deployment, so they can move a full seven inches, this is the movement speed, uh, forwards towards the wherever you want to go, really. <laughs> so let's go and move some forward. And there they go. I'm not going to measure every one, just need to give it a nice line. Okay, the Terminators are in deep strike and they can only arrive from turn two onwards. Turn one. Okay, so now we've put our orders down next to every single unit on the battlefield. Most of the infantry with the, or units with the short range will probably end up doing um, march orders. But I think some of the tanks and maybe the Titans will, be end, up, well, will end up doing the advanced fire choice. So now it's the initiative phase, and we work out who's got the initiative. Oh, one, one. Four and six. Okay, so Solar Auxilia have the initiative. So what we're going to do now is flip our order tokens all the way over so we can see who has what. Right, so each one of my detachments within the formation has got the march orders. Mm -hmm. So the Ogrins, the support units, the riflemen, that they're all done separately, but they've all got the march orders, so they can move three times their speed. Mm -hmm. The tanks are all of the advance order, so they can still move and then fire, yep. if they choose to. Uh, the other infantry units have done exactly the same as on the other side of the board, so they're all, all march orders. The Bane Blades will be on first fire, because they've got quite a bit of range, so hopefully I'll be able to hit something. Yep. The Warhound will have advance order, so move and fire. And the Sentinels, I've put them on first fire, oh, because goodness. I've think you might just be in range <laughs> so it's we'll see yeah <laughs> okay over here for me i've got advanced fire for these i've got um to do the march for the jump packs i have advance for both the sicarin and also the predator i've got march for my unit over here or detachment over here he's got advanced fire because it makes sense over here kratos have got advanced fire and over here these have got advanced fire as well We've got some missile launchers. I thought we might be able to get something, <laughs> but yeah. we'll see. Turn one movement phase. Okay, so the Velotaris have moved yep, up. The Velotaris have moved up and they're grabbing the objective. Oh no. Okay, so there goes my infantry. And they can move down the hill without all the cliffs, without any sort of hindrance, which is good. <laughs> and there goes the Ogryn. Ready there to go. Bullet magnets. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to move my blast rifle section and the commanding unit towards the building and I'm going to move in. So I'm going to garrison the building. Okay, great. So I'll just put the command section on the top. And then take the rest of the board. Because they're inside the building. Yep. So it doesn't matter if it's one stand or 20 stands, they will all be in the building as long as they're in the same detachment. Yep, because all of these buildings on the board have got a garrison level of one. Yep. Okay, previously my contempt has moved forwards. And just now, my assault marines have garrisoned this by moving 21 inches with their march order. So my fellow terrorists have taken another objective. Oh no. I'm moving forwards. A bit dangerous with those dreadnoughts in front of me, but... Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that unit has advanced and is now securing that objective. They marched 15 inches. You can move three times the, uh, the movement characteristic, but it can't fire. So I shall move my flamer support section, move it to the building and garrison that. So again, I shall just put one. 
Oh, you, can, you can fit them all on there. Let's get on it. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get on it. Yeah, okay. It's a nice view of a battlefield. Okay, the predators have moved forwards and they're a bit more in the range of some of these big tanks in the distance, but I'm sure they'll survive. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they do. Okay. I shall move the Lima Mustangs. They can move eight inches. So I shall move them to face off against that big blob of Marines over them. Oh no. Which I would like to get rid of because <laughs> you're on my objective. Hey. <laughs> right, so I just moved the Lima Rust tanks. Now, two of them have got heavy bolters in the, the, the hull and they've got point defense. Now, that means I can fire them um, either now or in the shooting phase, but I'm going to choose to fire now because I want first blood. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you monster. So that would be two dice per heavy bolter. So yep. I get to roll four dice. Mm -hmm. Now I need so 12 inch range. So let me just double check that it's definitely in range. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're in range. So that's nice. So that's four dice. That is five plus the hit. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we get two. Two hits. Great. So now you get to make two saves. Okay, my guys have a five plus save. Yeah. And, well... It's got, um, it's got no AP modifiers, so... Well, my guys are in... I've got a medic in there, so I yeah. get to make a six plus feel no pain. And feel both pain. failed. <laughs> so I've lost two, two troops. So there we go. Oof. One and two. First blood to the solar auxilia. Oh, no. I feel really sad about that. I just lost 10 men just like that. That's brutal. It is very brutal. <laughs> okay, so the sicker ones have advanced to there. Okay, so I'm going to move my Ogrins. They were march orders, which in hindsight was maybe not the best idea, but I'm going to advance them anyway towards the building with hopefully being able to invade that building and kicking those Marines out. Mm. That's going to happen next turn, isn't it? But we shall see. Anything can happen. Well, I wonder how good they are in hand tank combat. They are pretty decent, especially when you get a charge off. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the Kratos have advanced to there. Yeah. And then you've got a few more units still. What's going to happen next? Fair few. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to advance my last rifle section together with the Ogrins. So I'm going to move them all around there, make a nice little fire line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in come my flyers. Now, they have to move up to 30 inches in a straight line, but they can make one 90 degree turn. Um, at this point, I'm going to, there's not much I can really do apart from zoom them over to meow, <laughs> somewhere like here, because I think their range is pretty good. We have 22 inch range and 24 inch range. So I'm going to bring them to about here and hopefully, Keep them, keep them safe from the two lightnings which are about to come flying into the board. <laughs> oh, God. So, so they're advancing. My second oh. infantry bomb march, march, march orders, yep. Yeah. Okay, so then he can move six inches because he's the last thing I've got, unfortunately. So he's going to be stepping up to around there. And hopefully keeping Ooh. himself a bit protected. Painful. Yes, it will. <laughs> so I've got my Malkadors to move. They're on advance as well, so they can move nine inches. So I'll move them straight forward. Mm. So sort of behind that building a little bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's them done. I think I've got nothing left to move, so it goes straight on to the rest of your activation, which I think is your flyers. Oh, joy. And oh, your Warhound hand on the wing. So I shall move the Warhound, they can move 7 inches, so they can make 2 turns, because I've got the Agile rule. But I think I'll just move it 7 and then turn it a little bit like that. Okay. Okay. Right, so I've deployed my Lightnings. Uh, they can move 30 inches, so that is pretty much the entire board at this point. So I can yeah. <laughs> nicely come forward to try and intercept the... The Scyvons over there. Oh. I think they're just going to sit over there. <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. That'll be fun. Yep. Turn one combat phase. First fire stage.
So we've only got two units on the game board at the moment with the first fire rule, and that yep. is Hellhammer and a Bane Blade. Yep. And then and also the Sentinels. Okay, so which one are you going to be firing with first, do you think? I don't know. Hmm. That's the thing, you've got a bunch of Contemptors mm. there, and you've also got them on the background. You better fire both of them before I do anything else anyway, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. Yeah. No, no, I'll, so I'll fire all the, the Sentinels into the the Dreadnoughts. Okay. With lots of missiles. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'll be first firing the Sentinels at the Dreadnoughts, that lovely line over there. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got eight Sentinels, but two of them are just out of range, so they've got a range of 20 inches on the, the heavier missiles, which mm -hmm. I'm going to be using. Uh, so it's one dice per missile, so uh, six in range, so I get to fire six, hits on a four plus. Mm -hmm. That's not too horrible, it's three hits. Okay, three hits, and what's the AP on The AP is minus one. Okay, so I will be, th my save for a Contemptor is four plus, so it's going to be five plus. Okay, I take one. two wounds, and I think that means I have lost... Two Contemptors, ooh. So I'll activate my Baneblade Squadron. Uh, they're on first fire as well, but the only weapon that I can really hit in this is the, the Baneblade Cannon. Mm -hmm. Now it doesn't have any special rules, but it's 25 inches, so I can just about reach those... Predators! Those oh. Predators over there. Sorry, I couldn't come up with a name there for a second. <laughs> so it's, it's a four plus to hit. Oh, you uh, painted enough of them, sorry. Oh, <laughs> no, that's you're... a miss. Oh, so no. absolutely nothing happens. Oh, and the last cannon's, what, they got 22 inch range? 22, so it's just out of range. Ah, that's a shame. Yeah. Not to worry. Okay. Advancing fire stage. Okay, so you have initiative. So what, let me guess, you're starting with those guys right at the back over there? Yeah, clearly not. I'm starting with a lightning. Oh, please. come on. <laughs> uh, I want to get rid of those siphons, or at least try to do some damage. Okay, let's see what happens. Right, so we have... Quite a few weapons on these. You do. Interesting. You think you chose two different sets of missiles right at the beginning. I think you went for that's the Hell Strike and the oh, what's the other Sky one? Strike. Sky Strike. Sky Strike, which is very nice. Right, so I'll be firing my lightnings at the siphons over there. Mm -hmm. And first of all, I shall use the Sky Strike missiles, which have got anti tank, which is not applicable to flyers, but mm -hmm. uh, they've got front arc, sky fire, and tracking. Now, tracking means I can reroll any missed hits because they're tracking the targets. Yeah. It's very nice. Um, so it's a four plus to hit. Uh, okay. There's two shots each, so I'll roll both of them at the same time. So that is, I can reroll these two oh. because of tracking. Yeah. So that's three hits. Yeah. Okay. So AP minus one. Okay. All right, I think my guys have got a jink and they've also got a decent save of three plus. Yeah. Okay, so I'll start off with the three five plus jinks. I've saved one of them, which is good. We dodged it, but then the other guy took two to the face. So it's a three plus save with a minus one modifier. Is it minus, minus two? One, yeah. Minus one. And I have unbelievably saved both of them. Ooh, Great. You. Bring on the last cannons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So next we'll try out the last cannons. So there's again two dice per um, per plane, so there's another four dice. Mm -hmm. So there's only two hits, I don't get to re-roll these because they haven't got tracking. And they haven't got accurate, no? No, they've just got sky fire. Okay then. Uh, All right, so both of them have hit. All right, so I'll start off with my dodging, or my jinx. And I, oh, <laughs> yes, well double done. sixes. Well so the Space Marines are, yeah, they woke up and had their Weetabix uh. this morning. <laughs> Uh, and then you've got another weapon, haven't you? You've got some more missiles? Uh, no, those are just the, the Hell Strikes. Yeah. Can I use them at the same time? Yeah. Why okay. not? Let's go for Hell Strikes as well. So there's another two per, per plane. So there's another four dice, four plus the hit. So that is three hits. Okay. And they don't have tracking, do they? No, so. no tracking. Okay, so here we go. Jim. I have dodged one of them, Ooh, and then... Oh, my bane. I don't know if that makes any difference. Oh, yeah, it means I have to re-roll my successful saves. Ooh. So that's two of them. And what's the save? Is it, was it AP uh, minus... AP minus one. AP minus one. So I've got a four plus save. Both saved, but both, as both are successful, I have to re-roll both of them. Oh, no. And I saved oh, one right. and not saved the other. And as we are rocking a one wound each, I have lost Ooh. one plane. Oh, Ooh. well. I'm going to take him away because the ace is the other one. 
Okay, so this is what I really like about this game. You just do not know what you're going to do next. So at the moment, everything's like, if I do this first, then that person's going to get shot. If I do this, then that unit's going to get destroyed. And it just keeps going back and forth, and you can't work out which one you're going to fire with first. So uh, to me, a logical one is to, is to fire the Kratos at the Lehman Russ and try to destroy as many of them as possible. But then also I want to fire my, uh, yeah, my Titan, because he's got... A lot of things on the battlefield which he can cause some damage with as well so it's a it's an interesting step and then again yeah but it, it, i just don't know which one to go with next just don't <laughs> so uh let me think okay so my legio defensor reaver is going to be firing quite a few different shots at different targets which is what titans can do so i'm going to be firing my apox at um hmm, at the lehman russ yeah I'm going to be firing the laser blaster at the Warhound. And then I'm going to be firing the Volcano Cannon. Oh, it's a bit overkill. At Long one of these here. chaps over yeah. there. So that's my that's what I've declared. So okay. let's start. So the first thing is the Apox at the uh, Lehman Russ. So that's five, tank, uh, five shots, eight inches to 100 inch range, and it's four plus to hit. So I've hit with... Four. So four hits on those uh, Lehman Russ. Is and the any modifier from this? Yes. Uh, for that, it is minus one. So I've still got three plus safe then. Yep. So that's four hits, yeah? Yep. Okay. So oh, that's two failed. So two dead. So that yep. is one. two gone, yeah. So which ones do you want to take? Yeah, this is uh, the choice for you. One of each. <gasps> okay. One of each variant, <laughs> that seems fair. Yeah, it does. So that's two gone. Yep. And then after that, my Volcano Cannon is going to shoot at that uh, Malkador's over there. Ooh. So this is just, it's a brutal gun <laughs> and it's two plus to hit. So here we go. One dies, two plus to hit, it hits. Now this one is minus four AP. So your save is? <laughs> non negligible. <laughs> negligible. <laughs> there is no save. Okay, no save at all. All right, it's got engine killer three, which means it causes an extra three Wounds. So okay. So how many so wounds? So it's got two got? wounds. So it's dead. So it's just the one. Just one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then after that, I'm going to be firing my laser blaster on the right weapon mount at the warhound over there, yeah. over yonder. So the laser blaster, three dice, four plus to hit, and I have hit with two sure of them. them. And okay. obviously, you've got void shields. So the lovely Solaria engine has lost two void shields, and it's got no void shields left. Right, because of the damage that we've taken in this detachment, uh, lost more than 50% or 50% of its its units, uh, we now have to take a morale check. So normally, for these Malkadors, that would be a 4+, plus, but because I've got this command section within 10 inches of it, mm -hmm. I can use their command of morale check instead. So I can use it on 3+, plus, so I just need to roll 3+, plus, and we'll be fine. Past it. So that's passed it just nicely. I'd like the other one. Same for them, but... I think ooh. you might just be in. Is it in? It's on no, there. no, it's just out. That's from the edge of the building. No, still... Yeah, that's in. Well, it's just for one. Yeah, but that's, it. that's oh, all yeah, that counts, yeah, isn't it? it? <laughs> <laughs> Only my track's scared. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll use the uh, command detachment as morale check yep. results. There's another three plus. Nice. So both of them both passed. So I shall now activate my Lima Russ tanks, mm -hmm. and I'll be firing at the Sikran squadron over there. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. It's all right. Off the table. So the first weapon I'll be firing is the Lima Russ battle cannon, which is a one dice hitting on a four plus. Okay. Uh, that is a hit. All right. And what's the AP of it? AP is minus one. Okay. So my Sikrans have a three plus save, so it's going to four plus, and it's saved. Nice. Well done. Um, now I shall fire the Vanquisher Battle Cannon, mm -hmm. which has got a 32 inch range, but yep. also hitting on a 4 plus. That's a miss. Okay. So that doesn't do anything. Now I already fired the Heavy Bolter in the movement phase, mm -hmm. so I can only go up fire the last cannon on the Vanquisher. Yeah. Which is a 1 dice hitting on a 4 plus. Yeah. It's oh, also a miss. Fail. Okay. On to the next unit. Okay, so now I'll be firing with my Predators. Uh, every single one of the big weapons will be firing at the guys in the distance, the uh, what are they called sentinels, and then the point defense heavy bolters on the sponsons will be firing at that squad there. 
So I'll start with the sponson mounted things. They're 12 inch range. Do you reckon they're in 12 inch? Yes. Yeah, Have you got a 12 inch tape? And let's go with it. And I'll get the dice. So that's a total of um, yeah. six dice. Easy. Great. Easy. So I have six dice. For the sponsor mounted heavy bolters, I have to roll five plus to hit. And I have hit with two. Okay. So now, uh, so, oh, oh, for the heavy bolters, no, there's no AP. Oh, so I get a six plus save. Yep. Enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> Still a six plus save. <laughs> two, wasn't it? Yeah, two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so two uh, dead. All right, so I'll have to do a leadership test for them in a minute. And then I have the Predator last cannons on top of the tanks, and they're shooting at those over there. So they have to roll four plus to hit. I missed completely, but because it's accurate, I get to re-roll it. And I missed again. <laughs> All right, so then I've got the Predator cannon on top as well, and that's going to be firing at the same guys. And... I completely miss as well. So all the turret weapons have completely failed. Oof. Oh well, that and lucky me. Yeah, I'm gonna take <laughs> them away now, and then on to the next. Okay, so because I've taken quite a bit of damage, I need to take a morale check. Mm -hmm. Not within my command section range, so I need to use their own morale, which is four plus, and a fail. Oh no. Oh no. All right, so replace their order with a fallback order, and they'll be falling back later in the turn. Right, so I'll activate my Malkador, the last one standing, and I'll be firing at the Kratos tanks behind the building over there. Yep, bring it. So I'll start with the Vanquisher, mm -hmm. which is just a one single die hitting on a four plus. Yep. That's a hit. Okay, what's the AP? Uh, minus two. All right. Anti-tank and armor bane. Oh, so I've got to reroll successful saves. So I have saved, because my save is two, well, would be... Oh, so it's two plus, so, so it will be, be a four. four plus. Three roll, and I've saved oh, it. Saved again. Wow, he loves it. Okay, and what other weapons have you got? Um, it's got a last cannon, but I'm not sure if that's going to reach because that's 22 inches. So that is 18, I think that's just in. Yeah, add four more inches, it's definitely in range. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so that is just going to be one shot as well. Yeah. Uh, hit him on a four plus. Okay, so that's another hit. All right. Um, AP minus. Minus one. Mm -hmm. And then just got anti tank. Ah, oh, saved. Uh, saved it as well. Right? Mm -hmm. And I can't fire the other weapons because they are just auto cannons. Okay. All uh, right. And only 16 inch. Oh, All right. So, so that's that all gone. Okay. Then I'll go back to you. I think I, at this stage, will fire with my contemptors. Okay, so I'll start off with the Keras. The Keras will be firing at these two and the last cannons will be firing at the Sentinels. Yeah. So, first off, we'll start with the Keras. So it's light Etty tank. And I have missed with both of them because it has to be five plus to hit. Then the last cannons will be shooting at the Sentinels and I have a total of four dices of that. Accurate. So reroll failed and I hit on a four plus. So that was very lucky. And I've hit with two only, which is not so good. So the uh, save is minus one. Okay, they've got more. We've got four plus, so I've got five. So there's two, two saves, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So I need five, so ooh, two wounds. Them both. I've only got one wound each, so there's two of them gone. Yeah. I shall activate my Warhound, which is going to fire its plasma blast gun at the Predators over there. Yeah. Uh, the, the flame won't be in range, so I can't hit anything with that. So the plasma blast gun, two dice. All right, and you're hitting on three plus, and uh, both not, of them miss. Not hitting at all. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so now that's all of your firing done, so it's all on to, all on me now. So I will start with this unit over here. I'm gonna shoot everything at the Sharonites now, because well, they're terrifying, especially if they get close. Now I've got two plasma, bl or two plasma guns in the squad, and they've got 10 inch range, and both of them are out. So it's only the missile launchers which are in range of them. So I'll be firing both of those weapons now. And they both will be firing. I'll probably go with the, ugh, I'm gonna go Crack. So I think Crack's probably better against those guys. I know they're infantry. They've only got a six plus safe. Ugh. Yeah. No, I think, oh, I'll go with Frag then. I'm gonna go with Frag. So Frag missiles, that's four dice. And I'll be hitting on four plus, so I've hit with three. So three dice hit, and it's light, so you get a save of six. Three saves? Yeah, three saves. All right, three sixes, please. 
Oh, none. So three wounds. So there's three gone. So there's three bases kaput. That's them gone. Ooh, yeah. Note to self, don't leave them in the open. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then, that's the rest of them fired. And because the bolt guns have only got an eight inch range. So then I'll, I'll probably go to... I'll check on them. Oh, yeah, you do. Do you want to do it now? May as well. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, you're, what's your morale? Uh, these are morale, they've normally got a four plus, but they're within ah. 10 inches of the command section, so I can use those, so it's a three plus. And they pass, Nice. just. Okay, so here we go, we'll start with the Kratos now. Now, first off, I'm gonna have the Kratos battle cannons firing. Now I'm gonna be firing with the, ugh, yeah, not the other one, well, so the armor bane version's out of range, so I'll be firing with the standard two dice each. Now I've got two of those ca those cannons, so I'm fire with them, and they hit on a four plus. Nice. So I've hit three. Okay. All right, and the AP on them is minus one. Okay, so normally got a two plus saves, so that'll be three plus saves. Oh, there's another one gone. Okay, and then after that, uh, I've got the coaxial auto cannons, sixteen inch range. They're out of range. No point in measuring that. Uh, I've got the melted blast gun, which is eight inch range. There's no point even measuring that. Hole mounted heavy bolters, they're not in range of anything, even as point defense. Then I've got the sponsor mounted last cannon, so there's going to be four of them. Oh, no, it's not actually, because I've assembled them all differently. But one, two, two which are different. So I'll start with the sponsor mounted last cannons. Yep. So there's two with them, and they always have heavy bolters. And I have hit with a, ooh, for the sponsor mounted last cannons, it is four plus. So I've yep. hit with one of them. Is that minus one to two? It's minus one, yeah. Happy as well, so there's another three plus save, which is nice. And then I have one of them with last cannons on his um, hull mounted yeah. bits. Uh, so here we go, that's one dice, and that's uh, I've got to roll four plus to hit, and I get to re roll it as well three. because so these are accurate. And it hits, Ooh. so minus one. Very nice, another three plus save. Oh, he did it. Damn it. Um, and then the auto cannons are out of range as well. So that's there, the entire unit fired. Excellent. Now they're only ineffective at this point because they're not close enough to be effective. But So do I still need to do a morale check on that by now? No, because you did one earlier in the phase, so you don't need to do yeah, one right. now. Yeah, correct. Okay, that so way. then on to the, yeah, onto this as I think. Okay, so I'll start off with the last cannon array, two dice, four plus to hit, the accurate as well. So one hits and the other one, Hits. Mm -hmm. So you got two hits on them. So you want to yep. do two dodges? So we got jinx. Two, two jinxes. Uh, five plus on a jinx. One. So one jinx. And, and then one the other jinx. one takes it to the cockpit. Oh, <laughs> 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 AP minus one. Ooh, hang on. Where's the? Here we go. So normally it's a four plus save. So we got five plus save. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, one's no. down. One wound. Boom. <laughs> and then the rotary missile launcher. So that's going to be two dice. Oh, I might take um, out my entire squad now. Tracking. <laughs> oh, I have hit with one. All right, now this okay. one. Okay, so you can try to dodge that. Right, that's... Yeah, dodged. Dodged. Okay, and that's the end of it. Oh, well. I've lost a plane. Yeah. Okay, so with the... What are they called? Sikarins. Nothing else is really in range, but I can shoot at the flyer. So I'll be firing with my twin-linked accelerator auto cannon, which have tracking, and that's three dice each. So that's a total of six Ooh. dice. Now, these can re-roll failed hits against the flyer, which is you good need. because <laughs> of, oh, oh, really oh, bad. Oh, 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 oh. I hit one. So one hit. Yep. Yeah. All right, it's AP minus one. I'm going to try and jinx it. Jink it. Jink it. Not jinx it. Oh, jinx it. Jinx it. You jinx the jink. <laughs> Does that have any minuses on it? Uh, yeah, it's minus one. Okay, so the, it's another five plus then. Oh, pass, yes. come on! The flyer is still in the game. Oh, it yeah, is. Okay, and I've got the sponsor mounted last cannons as well. Six is to hit, oh. one hit. Oh. All right, let's see if we can dodge it. Jinx. Oh, jink, no jinx <laughs> again. Jinx again. Oh my God, what am I like? <laughs> uh, that's a minus one again as well, isn't it? Yeah. So another five plus. Oh, failed it! Yay, the plane is oh, dead. Oh, you shot Flash. it down. Well done. All right, so that's another one of these tokens <laughs> to remove. And I think that is the end of all my activations, yeah, yeah. actually. And mine as well. Turn one, end phase. 
All right, so we need to fall back with these guys because they are broken in, if they lost too many men. So there's twice their normal movement speed, normally is five, so they go they run 10 inches away, which is a shame because now I no longer have that objective. Mm. That's a big, big shame. Mm. Okay, so I'll try to reignite the void shields on the warhound. So I need four pluses for that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's have a look. I need to reignite one. Oh. So I've got one void shield back. So I'll just okay. put the dice behind it with a number one. Yeah. Okay, so we both have an objective, as you say, but it's going to be, I think it's three points each. Because that one there's, yeah, not even being claimed. Not anymore. Not anymore. I had it. No. <laughs> I would have had six points, but now we're down. <laughs> Turn two. Okay, so let's do the roll off initiative, because we put yep. our orders down. Oh, come on. It's me. Constant. <laughs> All right. Oh, you had last edition. Oh, no, I had last edition. You oh. did. Oh. All right, so now it goes on. Turn two, movement phase. Okay, so the Sharon Knights are charged. Yep. Oh. I'll try and take that building from you. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so the Sikorins have advanced to there. Yep. And, and the Sentinels. The Sentinels are going to advance towards the objective. And come out of the building. One turn. Mm -hmm. There we go, that's one void shield. Okay, so the Predators have gone up, they're going to try to yeah, cause some damage that's... against the Bane Blades and the Hell Hammer. Uh, Contempt to move forwards the, as well. The Bane Blades are going to react Ooh. by moving up as well. Very cool. <laughs> okay, so they've advanced. Yeah. They've advanced. I'm going to bring in my Xiphon now. No! The, the lone <laughs> remaining Xiphon. And he is going to go straight at... Oh, he's in this really cool, and he's going to go and stand on top of the roof. Okay. Over there. Interesting. Yep, it's all good. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm going to deep strike my Terminator. So first thing I've got to do is put one of them somewhere like so. No. And then I need to scatter it D6. Okay. So here we go. Let's see how. <laughs> Off the board. Oh, 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 let it go. Oh, damn it. Well, I threw all my troops. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Four inches that way. It's not very far, is it? It's not very far at no. all. It's all right. Just somewhere over there. There we go. Okay, so these like this. So they can be even two inches of that chap. Mm -hmm. So, I'll put them like this. And if I'm quite careful, I should put them might be able to actually get some shots off in the back of them. Nice. All right, so these chaps charge from there to there, and instead of just dealing with being charged, I'm going to shoot them. So I'm declaring an overwatch. No. So in this case, all the bolt guns are firing. They're not within the assault range, which means I get an extra attack die. So I have got a total of uh, eight, I think it is. Bolters that I'm going to be firing with first. They will hit on sixes, but it's minus two normally, so two hits. Ooh. So two hits at um, light. Yeah, no AP, so just make two normal saves. Nice. Two sixes then. Ooh, one. Okay, so one one's one. dead. And then I've got the <laughs> da -da -da, missile launchers, so that's going to be four shot with frags. Ooh. Hitting on <laughs> sixes. Hit with oh, one. Fun. Yeah. So make one save, and the AP is that's zero. Well. All right, then after... Oh, God, this charge is going to be meta. <laughs> <laughs> then after that, the plasma guns. Yeah. So there's only two in that squad. And I hit with neither of them. So that's it. So you're, you're in hand-to-hand -hand with the charge, and that's it. I've got nothing else to advance or move, so now it's your turn again. You got another charge to go? Yep, for the Ogrins there. There you go, and straight in. Charging as well. Boom. Okay. Very good. Combat phase. First fire stage. Okay, your first fires can't activate, can they? Well, I can activate, but I can't hit anything. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> All right, so John. So that doesn't do much. All right, so if you remove both of them. I might as well get rid of these. Yeah. Okay. So in this case, I'll be firing every single weapon from this guy at. Warhound over there. No. So we're going to start off with the Apox. So Apox rolling to hit. They will hit on a 4 plus. So I've hit with two of them. Okay. So you take down one shield straight away. Yeah. And then the other one goes through. 
Now the say yeah, it's AP <clears throat> minus one, so you have a three plus three plus save now. Yeah. Where did that come from? I don't know. Oh, it landed on that and bounced oh, that. Right. Well, safe anyway. <laughs> yeah, okay, safe. All right, then I've got my um, <coughs> laser blaster. That's the next thing I'm going to fire with. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to fire with, yeah, fire with laser blasters. So three dice, four plus to hit, and I hit with two of them, and it's AP minus three. Ouch. So it's five plus save. Yep. So then, ooh, so two wounds. So down to two wounds. Oh, and then the volcano. Did it do one can. damage per hit. Yeah. It was multiple. Just one damage. This is the, the one which. Volcano might get off then. Oh, I missed. missed. Yes. Ah, <laughs> come on. Oh. Beautiful. Wow. Well, that's that. <laughs> Turn to engagement stage. Okay, so let's start with the Sharonites. So, yeah. so first one. 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 Six. Okay, Ooh. so I add. Plus two because I'm in <coughs> I'm garrisoning a building. Yeah. Plus three because I have a, a, a close assault factor of plus three. Okay, so, so yeah, and you've got uh, one, one plus, plus three plus three because so four, and a furious charge which is a plus two instead of a normal plus one. Yeah. Yeah. But that still only gets me to seven. Yeah. Okay, and I so I kill him. So I win that combat and okay. cause one person to die. And then oh, on to the okay. next one. Yep. So three. Okay. Not doing too well. Eight, we've got eight. Uh, so there's seven for me, so that's another one. Yep. Oh no! That's it. <laughs> my chart is not working very well. Six. Oh my god, will you stop rolling so well? Wow. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's the same. Eleven. I've got eleven. Same. Huh? We're going to have the same. Okay, so that's cool. So then it goes to the next one. Five. Four, so I win. It's just one, one down, so that's you win. Yeah, so I win the combat. Okay. God, that was brutal. Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay, so I won the combat, so yep. you have to take a morale check with the Sharonites. Yeah, I can again use my command section because it's within 10 inches of the Sharonites, so yep. there's a three plus. Passed it. Oh, passed it. Nice one. Good. Okay, so we're not going to work out the charges on the and the fellow style is against the marines there, so I've got one against one base, one against another base. Yep. So we'll work that one out first. Okay. So I would again both roll a d6. Oh. So I've got a close assault factor plus one, plus a charge, so there's a plus two, so that's a five. Okay, I'll get a three, so I lose. So I lose a, hmm, my this one, which is. Okay. okay, next one. So the next one. So that's a four, so there's a five to six for me. I've got seven. So one's dead. Oh. <laughs> and then we go on to the next bit. Okay. So we've got this one over here. So you've got the shower night. Yep. So I roll a dice. I roll a five, six, seven. Oh, you're too good at that. Uh, so I've got a close all factor of three. Um, plus two for furious charge. So that Ooh. is nine. Okay, gone. Oh, nice. Very good. <laughs> okay, so who won the fight? In this case, it's oh, you won the fight. So I've got to take a morale check. Uh, where's my... Oh, no, he's so far away. Oh, you'll pass it easily. Anyway. Okay. Space so Marines, you know no fear. Morale check. Yep, passed it. Advanced fire stage. Right, so I'll activate the Bane Blades next. And we'll be firing at the Predator tanks. Mm -hmm. So I shall start with the Bane Blade cannon, first of all. Yep. There's one dice with a four plus to hit. That's a hit. Okay, what's the AP? Uh, AP is minus three. Okay, is this one with armor bane as well? No. Oh, one. So one's dead. I'll take oh. away that one then. Nice. Okay. One unit. Then we'll do the same with the demolisher cannon in the hole. Mm -hmm. Firing at them as well. So, hole mounts demolisher cannon, one dice, four plus to hit. So you've got two of them, haven't you, or just one? Um, I'm just doing one at oh, a time. Okay. I can do them both at once. Oh, yeah, you can pass one. Yeah, you can pass yeah. roll, but it's, uh, add another dice now. Just okay. Roll. Yep, both yeah. hit. Two hits, okay. minus three. Oh. Ooh. Gosh, all right, so sixes, neither. Ooh. Units destroyed. Yes, you did the gun. Nice. Well done. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to activate my Contemptor Squadron. They are going to be firing at the Warhound. Uh, the Carrier's Assault Cannons are out of range, but the last Cannons are in range. So here we go, four shots, reroll misses. I'm hitting on a four plus. So two dice, oh, two of which means. Oh, so I need two, damage it. Okay. And it's 18 minus, minus one. Minus one, so that's threes. 
Oh my god, how do I do that? Engine kill! <laughs> Engine kill indeed! <laughs> and that thing's gonna explode. Oh, yeah. So the boom did nothing. Okay, so on to the next unit. What are you gonna fire with? I'm gonna fire my Melkodon. Yep. At the Sycamans. Alright. So starting off with the Vanquisher Battle Cannon. Mm -hmm. One die, four plus to hit. Miss. That's a miss. Uh, Hull Mounted Last Cannon. One die, four plus to hit. That's oh. a hit. AP. Um, anti tank and minus one. Failed. We'll lose a wound. Ooh. One's dead. Kablooey. Interesting. And the. Uh, auto cannon instead don't do anything. Well, ah, is it 16 inch range or? 16. Oh, it might be. Yeah, you can do something. So light, light anti tank. Yeah, light anti tank mm -hmm. means I still get my full save. But... Okay. Two dice, five plus to hit. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh, there it is. All right. I'll have to take a leadership test for them as well. I'm near uh, my yeah. my big commander. Yeah. So my leadership is going to be two plus. Oh. And I pass. Very well done. He's not bothered. He didn't <laughs> like that guy anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, so then it's my activation. Yep. Okay, I'm going to activate my terminators. They're going to shoot at this unit down here. Okay. So I don't know how many people I've got within four inches. Can you check for me? Uh, within four. Yeah, I don't think I've got any, but... You um, tell me. Got one base and um, that base. Oh, so it's got two bases unit. within four. Yeah, it's a different unit over there, isn't it? Though. So that's yeah, because they're separate units, aren't yeah. they? So it'd be just that one there. So I'll target okay. that one, and I mean, one person's got two shots with the assault rule, okay. and the other ones have got um, one shot each. So that's a total of five dice hitting on five pluses, and reroll misses because it's got accurate. And I've still only hit with one. <laughs> wow. Any minuses on that? Um, AP minus zero. So there you go, that's it. Okay. That's a normal saves. Uh, well, it's only a six. Yay. Oh, I failed it. That's okay. it. So there's another base one. Okay, and just remove my little order. All right, then on to the next thing. I'll activate the Levan Rust tank. Mm -hmm. Another Vanquisher battle cannon firing at the Sikaman. Yeah. So we're going to four plus the hit. What hit? That's a hit. It's minus two, an anti tank, and armor bane. Failed. So he's dead. Oof. Nice. And that's that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to activate this unit here. They're going to fire at that unit over there. So I've got one, two, I think I've got most things within eight inches. Let's just double check. Even the guys at the back don't, but. I have at least one, two, three, four guys with bolt guns. Okay. So that's four dice, so I'll roll them first. So the bolters is, and I've also got two, yeah, oh, actually, and another bolter as well, because it's the uh, captain. Yes. Okay, so I've got four bolters. Yep. Uh, that, that I've hit, okay. So I'll roll the save for them in a second okay. as well. But I've also, yeah, let's yeah, roll the save, save now. now. Yeah, go for it. Any minuses on that, or is no. that just. Oh, so safe one. So three people die. Uh, three gone. All right, then I've got the two plasma guns. And I have hit with one of them. So it's one save at minus that one. Minus on it. So, yeah. So I don't get a save for that. Nope, he's dead. So another one gone. Okay. All right. And then the missile launchers are going to fire and then fire the crack miss oh, frag missiles. Ooh. So here we go four dice hitting on fours. Got two hits. So two saves. Mm -hmm. Zero. So nope. sixes. That's another two bases gone. Okay. There's not many left now. No, we're gonna get them. <laughs> okay, you have to do a morale check as well, but I'm yep. guessing that's is it two plus or three plus for them? Uh, three plus for for them. Go for it. Um, there we go. Past it. Four. Oh, nice. just. <laughs> okay, then it's uh, on to you. I'll activate the sentinels firing at the dreadnoughts. Mm -hmm. Go for uh, it. Um, first of all, we're going to be firing all the multi lasers. So there oh. is one, two, three, four, um, hang on, got six, 12 dice. Yep. So hitting on fives. Yep. Ah, oh, there's a lot of fives and six there. That's... So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what, seven saves. Yeah. AP zero, yeah? Um, AP zero, yeah. All right, so four plus save. Oh, okay, so it's four. Four dead. Ooh. A 
Okay, so that was the multi lasers done. So now we're going with the missile launchers. Yeah. I'll be firing the anti tank missiles. Yeah. Um, so I get one, two, three, six shots, mm -hmm. hitting on fours. Yeah, so three. that's that's another three. AP minus one. Minus one. Five plus save. Oh, Ooh. another one's dead. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> After a leisure test. Come on. No doubt you'll pass it. Easy. Brave guy. <laughs> <laughs> Little trooper. All alone. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that unit's no longer engaged. So these two Kratos will be shooting at that unit there. I'll start with the heavy bolters. So that's the... Oh yeah, there's da -da -da -da, the hole mounted heavy bolters. So that's two dice, five plus. Both hit. So you've got two saves. Of zero. Six. No, he's dead. Nope, dead. So that's Ooh. the end of their, their shooting. Now it's on to okay. this. So I have the Kratos Battle Cannon. Now I, can, uh, I can't use the 10 inch range because it's too short, but I can use the standard long range one. And here we go, two dice, four plus the hit, one hit, AP minus one. Okay. So that is gonna be, so that is gonna be a four plus. Blast. Okay, and then I've got two twin, or two coaxial auto cannons. So that's going to be four shots. They're within 16 inch range, and I have hit on. I've got to hit on a five plus. I've hit with two of them. Two. So uh, AP is that obviously is light AP, AP so nothing. <laughs> so three plus. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on. That's what I've got on there. I can throw him. <laughs> Heavy bolters. Ah, I've got last cannons on the hull of that one. Oh no, no. There we go. That's, yeah. I said it now. This is the, um, I think it's I think it's accurate as well. So I've rolled a four and I have hit. So that's the hull mounted last cannons. Minus and one. it's minus one. Okay, four plus. Oh. Yeah, passed as well. All right, I've got, I've got <laughs> Kratos auto cannons now on okay. his, um, yeah. those bits. Both hit. Okay, go for it. Three pluses. One. Oh, felt one. Okay. Don't. But they have two wounds. They have two wounds. <laughs> oh, what else can I fire at him with? Have they got coaxials? No, they don't. They fired the coaxials already okay. as part of the first bit. Oh, well, mm. that's the rest of that unit yeah. fired. Oh, well, I'm so happy. They're well, still standing. I'm disappointed with that one. <laughs> so just a side point, everyone. At this point, uh, my arm would company has but well, it's broken because i've lost five models out of the nine i had inside the armored company so the morale's one less than it should be uh and same as you on the other side yeah so <laughs> all the tanks are a bit scared but the the rest of the formation seems to be doing quite well i think this one's probably just about to peter over the edge it, but it will do, yeah it's lost a lot mm -hmm. well that one has yeah, that's that one as well. To be oh, fair, well, that's part of the same formation, though, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Those two. So that's yeah. 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 So yeah. the people off. Yeah, we've taken a lot of people off the board, and yeah. So it's getting to that point where everything's a bit scared. Yeah. Right. So I'm activating the remnant of my my rifleman and flamers over there. Mm -hmm. So I'll fire the rifleman first. I've got two bases of those mm -hmm. still alive. So that's going to be two shots at the terminators, hitting on fives. There's one hit. Yeah. It's light, so you get your full armor save. Yeah, yeah. So four <laughs> plus not saves. Oh, no. oh my god. What? Okay, so one's dead. And it's flamers. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll one. take him away. Then the flamers, mm -hmm. they've got a better to hit roll. There's um, two bases of them as well. Mm -hmm. So there's two hitting all fours. Mm -hmm. Ignoring cover, but still light. So there's two hits. Yeah. Saved. <laughs> that's not bad. Okay, so that's that one activated. Okay, so now my lone Xiphon is going to fire. He's going to start with last cannon array at the um, what they call Bane Blade or Blade, Super Heavy yeah. Tank Squadron. So four plus to hit. I hit with one. And it's always accurate because we roll the other one. Oh, misses. So that is AP minus one. So it's a three plus safe. One, one hit, yeah? Mm hmm. Okay. Whoa. Oh. The wound. All right, and then the rotary missile launcher, two shots. We'll hit with one, miss the other, okay. uh, AP minus one. 
Oh, again, three plus. Solid. Nice one. <laughs> okay, and uh, I think it's on to you with that last squadron there. Yes. Uh, go activate those, firing at the Terminators. So mm -hmm. There's the Flamos, one dice, four plus to hit. That's a miss. And the command section, which is yeah, one dice, mm -hmm. five plus to hit. Nope, missed as well. Oh. Uh, there's that one there. Okay. Obviously, I can't use that charge order from previous, so I think we're done on that stage. Mm. Okay, so that's the end of turn two, and we've decided to call it there due to it getting a bit late in the evening. Um, but we have got to a point where we've decided that it's uh, going to possibly be a Blood Angel win. By the end of turn two, um, I will have got an extra three victory points there. Yeah. And I haven't even started shooting at these buildings yet to try to <laughs> take them down. But the Bane Blade would quite quickly be just the Bane Blades or the Super Heavies would quite quickly be destroyed by yeah. the Reaver. Obviously, he would die to the um, Sentinels unless he goes mm -hmm. completely ham. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so it's a really good game. Really yeah, enjoyed that. Cool. Just need more tanks, more, more yeah. tanks, more infantry, more bigger tanks, forces. Need bigger board, bigger, oh, yeah. bigger everything. <laughs> but it's really good. Yeah, it's a really it's good game. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, I absolutely love I love the flyers. I think my favourite unit of the game so far, though, for this was. I like firing the Kratos. There's a lot of different options for it. Yeah, it's got a lot of weapons. Yeah. <laughs> I was really impressed how, yeah, the Terminator's turning up like that and actually being quite survivable was a nice blessing. And uh, infantry being great. Yeah, we just need more of it. Mm. So I think the, the bigger you play these games, the, the better it is. Yeah. I think having one Titan on the board is actually quite fun. I'd like to go in and have, well, bring some knights on as well next time, maybe. Mm. Yeah. And. Yeah, just keep making the games bigger and bigger and bigger and start having some absolutely legendary battles. Yeah, we'll definitely do a round two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a campaign as well when it comes around. Oh, yes. All right, well, thanks very so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed that, then please subscribe. We really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, take care. Hope you go out and buy this beautiful game. Cheers. <laughs>